Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So I've held you guys in the lurch long enough as far as getting this um, a farmhouse junk journal that's a soft cover um, that I put together a while back, getting it assembled and ready to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to assemble this entire book and put, you know, stitch in my, my signatures, including this file folder right here that I created for uh, additional pocket tucks and whatnot right in here and I'm going to embellish and um, you know some of the pages that are in here these are just some of the additional things that I've made in the past to go into this junk journal little pockets and tucks and um, various things this one I glued this way so I have additional pockets and tucks all over the place so let's just go ahead and get this all stitched together and um, yeah get this book assembled and then we have a perfectly functioning junk journal these are just some of the things that I want to incorporate in the journal they are just various projects that I've made along the way and um, I have here my um, this was the puzzle that I made from that farmhouse uh, image from that calendar and just different things that you know I think would look cute inside of this book I do still have my six by six paper pack that I need to make a couple of things with so I'll probably be doing that as well but I want to get this book assembled today so I'm using my what is this uh, white um, wax thread and the rule of thumb for stitching in a, um, a three hole pamphlet stitch is three times the height of the actual book itself so from here to here I think this book is about eight and a half inches uh, tall so I'm just going to pull my string three times the height of the, um, the journal and plus a little extra for a dangle maybe and I, I know I have one, two, three, four signatures plus the little file folder in there. So I need five of these strings and five sets of holes in the, um, in the spine. So that's a whole other thing that we, <laughs> we need to work on. So I'm just going to cut five of these same length. And go from there so that's three this one is four and five okay all right so here are our five strings I believe that's five yeah five of our threads that we need for stitching this in okay so let's see from here oh let me take out these little pockets that I've made and move these tags out of the way okay and I need to close up my glue because I just um, glued down that pocket in here which one this one but okay all right so I'll close that up okay so now I'm going this might to answer your question the market for okay cash doesn't close one okay cash is worth 0 0.0041094 US dollars Wow that's interesting thank you <laughs> no one asked you okay miss over here all right so okay so now I'm going to establish where these are going to live inside the journal. All right, so I'm just basically looking down here on the spine, trying to get this part of it even and lining up the signatures on the inside down here. All right, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much where they're going to go. I may have to turn her off because I do not need her <laughs> interjecting various random information during my videos but we'll see what miss has to say later okay so i was thinking about using my 
my uh, all. This is an all, A-W-L, all. But um, I think I'm going to do my crocodile Big Bite only because it'll give me nice large holes for in here. So here's my crocodile Big Bite. Um, I'm going to put it on the 3 sixteenths. Yeah, this will give me a nice big hole in, in the spine for the signatures and my signatures will live on these ridges here. I know it's probably hard for you to see them, but I can definitely see all of the ridges. Here's one very prominent one. Here's one in the middle and there's one on this end also. So if I start with those three, one, two, and three, then I know I can put one in between the center one. Okay, so let's just do that. I'm just going to start in the middle about here let me just show you it's about um, half an inch from the top okay here's my middle okay so about half an inch from the top is where I'll place my first hole on the center of the spine. Okay guys, that's it. That's the first one. It's all downhill from here. So I'm going to slide this down to about midway. Just keeping in line with the previous. Okay, there's my second hole, and I'm going to rotate it to do the bottom. Again, about half an inch, or about three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Okay, so there are my three holes for my signature, and I'm going to do the same thing right next to it let's see yep there's a ridge there's a ridge and then I can get one in between the two let's see all right yeah we'll do that um, I'm just checking the space between to the previous. <laughs> it's hard to see. I have so much stuff on my desk. Give me a sec. Let's see here. There's that one. Move it over to there. Now I have three more holes on that side and I will put three on this side as well. Keeping in line with the other two and leaving space for the third and fourth. Now this book would have been perfectly fine with just <laughs> three signatures but I had to go the extra mile with the fourth, <laughs> with the fourth signature and add a folder so I'm just basically making my life more and more difficult as we go along here 
So it just takes a little bit of finagling and um, maneuvering, lining things up. So there's that hole. Move that over there. And sorry if my head gets in the way. Okay, there's that. And Okay, so now we have three holes in our spine here for the signatures. I need to add one more um, in between these two, and then one more in between these two, all the way up. Okay, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. And I'm just centering it. There isn't a ridge or a spine for, I mean, a section for me to actually get it on there, but I'm just going to try to center it as best as possible in between the previous hole and the hole next to it. see that one's a little high but it's okay it'll be okay everything's gonna be okay it's called junk journaling for a reason one there and one there okay now we have our five holes and a big mess on our desk so let me clean this up It's not pretty on the inside either, so um, I may get some some eyelets to go in here just to keep it neat, but it is very pretty on the outside, so I can live with that. I know this hole right here is a little bit high, but once we stitch them all in, it won't even matter. I'm going to grab some eyelets. Um, I'm going to use just these right here. Probably use gunmetal because it'll match it better than anything else I have in here. Or I can use silver. I wonder what my. Yeah, I'll use silver. It matches my accents on the front cover. I'm just going to grab a bunch of these, pull them out and a bunch of backings so i'm just going to start popping these in Whoa. and pushing them all the way through to the center And that'll clean up any frayed edges that I have on both the inside and the outside. So that's the only problem with um, creating a soft covered journal. When you pu when you punch your holes for your signatures, it does fray everything. But some eyelids will clean all of that up. So let me just go ahead and get all these eyelets in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and got all of my eyelets placed into the, sp into the spine of the journal and now I'm going to, oh, I also punched all of my holes for my signatures um, and I'm going to stitch these in to the journal. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the back, the last signature and um, just go from there. So I don't, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to start. Some people start from the far right one, which would be your last signature. Some people start in the middle. 
really doesn't matter what also doesn't matter is if you go through the middle and then come up the top or if you go through the middle and come down out of the bottom it really your personal preference um, I'm going to put my I'm going to put my closures on the outside I think do I want to do that I don't know um, no I'm gonna put my closures on the inside and that will determine whether you start inside because that's where you'll end or if you start on the outside because that's where you'll end okay so I'm starting on the inside I'm gonna put my closures on the inside for the um, the stitching of the signature so yeah let's just do that so I hope you guys are having a great day it's just you know a beautiful I don't know what day it is it's probably Wednesday by the time you see this or it could be Thursday <laughs> I'm not sure yet but um, alright so I'll stop gapping so I went through the middle came out the top and I'm gonna go through the bottom all the way down on this side making sure that I'm lining them up in the right holes okay this is the important thing making sure that you're you're stitching in the straight line and I'm just gonna go back through the middle having eyelets and large um, holes it's so much easier it's a lot less stressful um, not stitching your thread and um, you know it just makes things so much easier let me just even up this right here get it nice and straight and I want to pull it tight but not tearing okay you don't want to tear your paper in the process I'm going to double check that only this section right here has been stitched okay pull it tight but not tearing my signature is straight it's even inside the book and I'm gonna tie this off I'm gonna do a box knot which is one right over left and then one left over right and then tie it in a bow Okay, and that's signature number one and now I'm just training it so that it lives where it lives forever and ever I'm gonna now do my file folder okay that's gonna go into this fourth hole or second from the back sorry I can't pick up my needle okay so let's thread this one up and again I'm starting in the middle here going through the middle of the spine and again it doesn't matter if you go up or down I'm going to go to the top fourth hole from the uh, from the left go through my whoops go through my little folder at the top come all the way back down to the bottom here and go through that fourth hole making sure that that's the only line that I'm threading this line right here and I'm gonna go back through the middle I also use my crocodile to punch the holes in the signatures and the file folder and what you want to make sure that you do I have one thread on one side of this bridge one thread on the other I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous signature that I stitched but that's what you need to do in order to make sure that you you uh, secure your signatures into the book and I'm just making everything nice and even threads are nice and even okay and again I'm tying this in a box knot one right over left and then one left over right and above Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish stitching in the rest of these signatures and I'll come back and show you the final project. Hold on. 
Okay, guys, my signatures are all in. Let me just show you what they look like. This is how I train the spine of the signatures so that they know where they're living permanently. This is how much space I have in between each signature. And they're all stitched in to their coordinating or corresponding holes that I've made on the spine. Here's my little file folder in the middle here. Okay. It's just an additional spot for tucking things. Here, I'll show you really quickly. This has a big pocket here and then these little slats right here. You can also tuck things into all the way down to about there. Can you see that? Yeah. So there's one, two, three tuck spots on these little slats, this slatted pocket, and one big pocket on both sides of the file folder. Okay. Um, oh yeah, here's a little belly band that I put in. Forgot about that. Belly band with a pocket down at the bottom. Okay. So yeah, we'll do a full run through, um, flip through of the entire journal um, once I get it all assembled. But I just wanted to stitch in my signatures, get some of these uh, pockets and such glued into the book so that there's no more um, question of when is that junk journal, the farmhouse one, you know, the black and white one that just started, when is that going to get done? <laughs> I've read all of your comments and, um, you know, I love them all, but I do realize that I'm falling behind on some of these major projects because I love doing the little ones so much. So these, this was a one page wonder that I'm gluing in right here and I'm just using some Fabrifix glue. And I'm just going to glue it directly to the front and the back cover. So I have two of these. And if you're not sure what a one-page wonder is, I'll put a little uh, um, a little info um, link right there for you to go look at this one-page wonder uh, video that I made. I'm going to put this one in the back. Just another little surprise when you get back here and Fabrifix glue glues fabric to fabric fabric to paper and paper to paper it's a clear silicone glue not sponsored I just like the glue a lot and it does what I need it to do so I'm gonna glue that one down there and I'm gonna glue this other one again this was another one of those one page wonder projects Looks like I have a tuck spot here as well. Didn't realize that, but I was about to glue it down, but I figured I'll just leave it open. And now I have another tuck. Okay. I'm going to get a lot of glue on here to make sure that this does not go anywhere, especially with the opening and closing of that front cover on a regular basis. So I'm just going to glue this right here, sort of central, near the bottom. Okay. Okay. So let's see. All of our signatures are nice and taut inside these holes here. Our cover is still looking very cute, very nice. And um, we have a little journal um, tuck spot. You can write the word journal on here and then tuck it in, or you can uh, stamp right in here. Um, you can put whatever you like. It can say whatever. I mean, but we have our little uh, book plate right there for... Um, you can put whatever you like in there and let's see what else um, I'm just gonna snip away any excess frayed strings or what have you I think this one needs to come down okay all right guys I'm gonna leave you here I hope you saw that it's all done all right the next thing we'll do is decorate a few of these pages with some of the things that we've made and I will tuck back in my puzzle. Okay, this is my little 
farmhouse puzzle. It was in this front pocket of this signature right here. And a few other things that I've made along the way will end up in this journal. Some altered playing cards, uh, my little flip-flop thing with my cute little girl on there, and uh, with various tucks. And I have tons of tags that I'm going to be using to um, to embellish this journal. All right, I may do some of it on camera. I may do some of it off camera, and then I'll just show you guys the finished product when we're done. I'll talk to you guys soon. You have a great day. Stay naturally curious, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.